What is going on, everyone? We are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. Together we are... Hello, Depraved. So again, this is our fourth reaction of the day. Which is both because there's great music out right now, and because, you know, we love you. It's kind of a celebration of us hitting 10k subs. Which um, is, we love you. We either have already done it or are about to do it. Last I checked, we were at 9,999. Right. And we figured, why not do four on the right. day that we hit 10K? Thank you. Uh, plus, I really wanted to do this song. Right, well, yeah. Duh. I didn't know they had dropped a video. I'd already had the other three videos planned. And then I seen this dropped and was like, well. Guess what? We're doing four. Yeah. We're doing four. And we're doing And it's it. exciting. So, all right. Uh, this... Never ready, so I'm not going to ask, are you ready? I'm never ready. Never read. Right. Yeah, it's it's Crook and Joel. This is Crook, King Crooked, Joel Ortiz featuring Black Soul, and the song is called Vacancy. This is off of a new album that they are putting out in March, which is called The Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse. Uh, I am excited to hear this record specifically, well, this track. I'm obviously also excited to hear oh, the album. Oh, I'm thrilled about the album, yeah. Uh, because the last time Joel and Crook did an album together, it was hard. That was both the name and what it was. And a pun. All, all wrapped up. It also yeah. almost made me hard. Because um, it was hard. It was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, we're going to react to this if you guys have already seen it. If not, please click mm -hmm. the link in the description below. Go watch it and then come back. And we say that because we are a commentary reaction breakdown comedy channel and what that means is we will pause to talk about things. Right. Also, there may be some slight lag. I don't know how much of it we've gotten rid of. I think we've done pretty well. It uh, might be. So, you're going to bear with us. No. Well, you, you're not going to. You, I hope you bear with us. <laughs> uh, that was me trying to mix two sentences together at the same time. Yeah. You're welcome. And now... It's time to slash it up, break it down. This is King Crooked, Joel Ortiz, featuring Black Soul, Vacancy. Let's get it. Mic check, one, two. Real talk. Hey, let the choir do what it do. Let the church, let the church speak to him. Shit, let me speak to him. Get up on the altar, man. Word. I remember we was on the road on one of them tours, like, hold on. We got the number one album in the country, it's so on. They called us Voltron, where did we go wrong? We posted did this music shit for so long. Instead, it's so long, the house is vacant. Like, hold on. This is going to be a rough track. Um, so yeah. I want to explain to people. I did not take the opportunity to appreciate Slaughterhouse while they were going. I was unaware of them, which is bad. A big reason was I was unaware of who they were. Because, again, obviously knew who Royce was. I knew who Joe Budden was. Um, only thing is, I didn't know Joe Budden was good at rapping. I knew him from one song. It was called Pump It Up, which I was never a fan of. Which I did find out later he did not even want to do that song. Right. But it is what it but is. But I was a big fan of Crooked Eye. And um, I, didn't I was a fan of Crooked Eye. I had not known that he had changed his name. Guys, I stopped listening to rap yeah. music for six, seven, eight years. I, longer for me, yeah. Um, Future and Wayne has started doing their thing. Uh, Wayne, I'm a big fan of. He's in my top five all time. Um, but then Future came in and started kind of doing his thing that was kind of imitating Wayne. 
and then I think I heard like one more artist come in and start doing that same thing. And they're like, oh no. And I was like, I see where hip hop is going, and I don't right. want no part of it. But it sucks for artists that have put their heart and soul into stuff, and really, like he said, we have the best album out, and like, then what happens? Right. They just, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so by the time I did come back to listening to hip hop, um, I had no clue who Slaughterhouse was. I didn't know who was in it. I had never even heard of them. Right. Until everything that had happened with him. See, I didn't even hear that. Uh, now, I, I know I'd heard the name Slaughterhouse before I met you, but I still, I had no clue about them whatsoever at that point. And then you right. introduced me to most of the beefs and stuff like that, so, yeah. Right. But, uh, but yeah, had one of the number one albums, was supposed to be... The next big thing. The next big thing, and now it's gone. Just poof. Right. Well, and it happened real quick, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Posted did this music shit for so long. Instead, it's so long. The house is vacant. Your mouse is making that podcast money. Talking foul and flagrant. Right from his couch, I'm hating. Royce Grammy nod came without debating. The allegory's a wild creation. I'm happy you got to smell your flowers, baby. And crook. Shit, crook still out here being crook. Got every rapper shook. Ain't never used a book for a verse or a hook. House slippers, human. Mona Lisa and Monday. Hard, gorilla glue. Yo, Fred will laugh again one day. Hmm. Talking about the podcast and... A lot of this has to do with... Joe Budden's podcast. Yeah, like what they ended up doing instead of um, doing the music forever. And then there was... The podcast that Royce got involved in that also fell apart because of some rap beef. Um, and then of course, Crook being Crook, Crook being, being crook, the boogeyman said didn't need to didn't never need used a, a book, never didn't need a book. And I wonder if that was a slight shot at Royce, not a serious one, but because Royce was uh, Royce had an album called Booger Ryan. I don't know. Or just saying, you know, the, I don't know, collegiate level education. I, I have no idea. Right. Crook's a monster. Both these guys are. Yeah. God but damn I, amazing. I mean, yeah. I like the props that they give each other, though. But it is it is sad. Like, he's like, we were supposed to do this music thing for so long. And this is what happened. Mona Lisa and Monday, hard, gorilla glue, yo Fred will laugh again one day, damn, where did time go, slaughterhouse been apart like nine yo, you ask why though, I wish I had them answers, I don't, just know that pig shit will never resume, emails, phone calls and zoom, still not enough to get us all in a room, Roy said, he ain't doing a three man without Joe, but Joe said he retired, so how the hell is supposed to go, I looked in the eyes of crooked eyes, said one last time, he said let's go, so this one's for the fans and anyone else who wants to know why the best group ever turned out to be one of the best groups that never got back to his son after the shit uh. era. Shit, Paul wasn't on. Well, I guess that's an answer to that. Woo! That's rough. I mean, look. Shit happens. People change. Fans don't always get what they want. L that's life. I'm, I'm glad that these two put this together for us, you know? Right. But that's, uh, uh, the best group ever turned out to be the best group that never. This is, this is deep. I'm loving it. Groups that never got back to his son after the shady era. Shit, Paul wasn't on his best behavior. And Joe's comments about M left no revival for major endeavors. So the gang dropped the flag, got off the label, back and forth, drawn out lawyer to lawyer. But today we're able to say we're free, but we ain't eating at no round table. It's rectangle, me and Crook in a bow jangles. Back to this chicken from rapping incisions, cutting the hardest vocals you can imagine or vision. Man, this half is just different. I hope the other half will listen, put the business in the back, and get back to business. Woo! <laughs> Kind of like a mullet. Uh, I love the that. round table to rectangle is 
hard, but it's, it, you know, the whole Arthurian legend round table with all the knights. And now it's just the two of them. And I like how he's like, uh, this half is here. I hope the I other, hope half, the other half is listening. Yeah. But listen, put the business in the back and get Whenever back to business. This might be sacrilegious. I don't want to go back to business. I don't want to go back to biz. Back to the back and forth. The last deal I brought that bag was different. Only thing I heard back was crickets. That was my answer. Listen, never did lack persistence. I ain't no mathematician, but I see mad division. Couldn't get past the friction. Was it a bad decision? Trying to get back to the mission of actually winning and rap again. Because all of us had the vision, but that was years ago. The math scheme and it yeah, it with all of us have, you know, wow, okay. <laughs> hitting the, it with that division. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I Crook, mean, like, man, I am so he doesn't sorry this shit have to apologize to the fans. Like I was saying before, life happens, shit happens. We don't always get like the mashup pair ups that we envision working so well, and you know, sometimes they just don't. Like, you guys had a good chemistry years ago, but you've all moved on to different places, and your visions are different at this point, not right. cohesive. So, yeah. I just, I, I love how Crook puts together his his schemes. Couldn't get past the friction Was it a bad decision Trying to get back to the mission Of actually winning and rap again Cause all of us had the vision But that was years ago This is a new date The fans deserve flowers This is a bouquet For wishing the group stay Together forever and ever Fall out like hair At least we balled out Like, like hair <laughs> <laughs> At least we balled out <laughs> God damn it Chris. Oh That's team That was fire That's amazing Well I mean like We don't even know if it's done But Shit. Fall out like hair. At least we balled out like a toupee. <laughs> oh my god. This is a new date. The fans deserve flowers. This is a bouquet for wishing the group stay together forever and ever. Fall out like hair. At least we balled out like missing a toupee with trips to the UK. Yay. <gasps> To bonding with the group, I became partial. He didn't start the group, he can't end it. Don't blame Marshall. No. He didn't start the group, he can't end it. Don't blame Paul. No. And fans been there from the beginning. Can't blame y'all. Let me take some responsibility. I had the Hennessy feeling me, willingly committing penalties mentally. Whenever liquor with enemy, bringing the silliest energy. Innocent, I can't pretend to be. I just don't fuck with the industry. You lie, you stole and treated me just like an enemy. Joel, let's just him and me on our purple tape. Pride made the circle break. Stop letting them fake lies circulate. We too old for that. Yeah. Plus, we family men. We too real. True for truth. That's the Where bag we in. Rap about it. Woo! There gonna be a vacancy sign. I think it said it at the beginning. Rest in peace, slaughterhouse. Now I will definitely say that that took some maturity on Crook's part. I I think that as fans and people, because people individually do this, we like to place blame. And so 
we see things happen, arguments happen, whatever, and immediately blame the other party for the dissolution of, honestly, our dreams, but stuff like a group. Right. And pointing out that, honestly, M didn't start the group. His problems did not cause them to break up. It wasn't, you know, Joe, his problems didn't cause them to break up. It was a little bit of everybody, pride, definitely the label, you know, it was, it was a unfortunate mixing pot of little things that all added up from all, all aspects. Right. I, uh, this song actually reminds me, going back to Marshall, of Stepping Stones, which I don't know how many people and I don't mean lyric wise I mean in tone um, Stepping Stones for Marshall uh, for those of you that don't listen to him if there are any of you that don't listen to him or haven't heard that song or haven't heard that specific song uh, was basically a song announcing D12 was done uh, Okay. officially I mean they hadn't done shit in like 15-20 years right um but he put out that song basically disbanding or dismantling D12. And not in a way the word. And I, I say that and it sounds worse than I mean it. He wasn't going at any of the group. No, kind of like this. Where, like, guys, the dream's dead. Like. Right. We're not happy about it. We're not upset at anybody in particular. It's just like, it is what it is. And it sucks. But it is what it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, a hard song to listen to for sure, uh, and I definitely know there are, are tons of Slaughterhouse fans out there that it probably hits them quite a bit more hard, hard than it does myself. Um, again, Stepping Stones was that song for me that hit me emotionally, because Eminem and D12 were a big part of my teenage years. Right. Um, I guess I'm in that weird camp, like, sure, there's there's been... Um, shows that I've been really attached to that have stopped uh, mid-story, which I don't do well with cliffhangers, guys. Um, definitely authors that have announced that they're not continuing a series of, you know, characters that I fell in love with and books that are mid-story. Um, but on the other hand, I guess I've always just been a firm believer in people evolve and they don't always evolve together. And so while some of this stuff may disappoint me, it doesn't make me like emotionally, like it's, it's, it's a serious tone to me. I appreciate that it's being clarified. I I would have loved to hear a new Slaughterhouse album. Don't get me wrong. Right. I'm just saying, like, I think so it's what, a disappointment, but that's that's all. I think what makes this harder, though, especially for Slaughterhouse fans, is I want to say mid last year, mid to late last year. The rumors came out that the it was, rumors had yeah. come out that they were all talking to each other and trying to figure things right. out. So excitement um, levels were, so, were up. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of people yeah. that were like, Duh, including myself. No, I, I like, like I said, I, Slaughterhouse I album. absolutely remember and the then, hype that was coming out. So yeah, this is this is a big disappointment, but it's not, I, I don't know how, like, I would have been thrilled to hear a new Slaughterhouse. But honestly, I'm really just pleased to hear more Crook with Joelle. Right. So like... I, I don't know how to, I, th this this was heartbreaking for them too you can you can tell it's a disappointment right. you know and that Crook did try and invest time in being the mediator and trying to make this work and it just it just didn't and so you know instead of letting that get them down they decided you know what we're gonna do another album together as a tribute to the fans a tribute to this great group that we were a part of and what possibly could have been just clear the air give the fans at least part of what they they wanted and you know move on to the next stepping stone for these guys honestly 
Right. I, I do get what you're saying, absolutely. I just, you know, I don't know that anything breaking apart has ever done more than disappoint me because honestly, I'm braced for disappointment. Right. It is what it is. I loved this. I love Joel and how laid back he makes everything sound, but if you actually are paying attention, like he has some really deep lyrics and stuff that you may not pick up on, um, no matter how slow his pace sounds. And then you mix him with Crook, who is laid back, but not like a slow pace because he always has such incredible construction, diction, and his wordplay is phenomenal. I, I love the mix of the two of them. And this hook, this hook would have, like, it hit harder almost, just the tone of it. Right. So, yeah. Uh, Black Soul did a great job on yeah. the hook. All right. If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, but ring the bell for notifications coming down below. What did you think of King Crooked and Joel Ortiz featuring Black Soul with Vacancy? Also comment down below, what did, if there's anything else you guys like to see us react to, check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons, come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter if you want a quicker response. With that being said, we love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Cannot wait to see you to pray people later.